Welcome to another video by DJ SPRC. I want to show you guys Project Cherokee. It's the uh, Axial SCX10 II 2000 Jeep Cherokee uh, 110 scale electric all wheel drive kit that I'm doing a complete build series on. Uh, this is going to be the step one of the build. Uh, basically, I'm doing the steps they're saying in the manual itself. If we open on the first step here, uh, saying opening bag A, we, I do have bag A in front of me here. And bag A, again, again, should I say open plastic bag one and so on and so on and so on. Uh, and this is what we're gonna follow the step by step. And basically now what we're gonna do is build a locker diff right here and I'll show you how to do this. Keeping your book always close to you, or if not, if you have a computer nearby, you can download the manual, go ahead. Every manual for any Axial vehicles are on the Axial's website. You can download them for your vehicle. And sometimes it is worth it to go see because you'll have uh, updates. That's not part of the physical manual right here. Now we're going to build right here is this part right here and then we're going to insert it in the physical diff case. Let's go ahead. What basically we need is a 1.5 and these screws right here. We're going to add a little bit of Loctite on it. Just enough to be able when it goes in the metal they physically um, glue themselves together. For some reason, there we go. A little bit harder to align. Now, the other thing I would like to say to you about this video here is proudly brought to you by Great Hobbies. They will have a link of the shop underneath in the comments below. Go ahead, if you want to pause this video and go take a look at greathobbies.com. They're gracious for me to be able to do this for them. There we go. Now you don't need to torque these guys super tight as long that they're tight. There you go. Now we'll grab our, our case here. Basically what they're showing us here. Now we need two different sizes of bearings for the case and two different size. Now these are the two same size right here for the physical locker itself. Up one on one side and the one on the other side. In the case itself, you'll have the 31407. That's these guys here. And this guy here on the other side will be a little bit smaller. They are 5114. You'll drop in your pinion. Always make sure everything turns freely and let's put our diff in well, for some reason uh, I know why my bearing did not go all the way in that's what are preventing me from putting your diff in now this kit here does supply with grease they do say to put a little bit of grease here on the ring pin, but personally, that's not what I use. <clears throat> I basically use marine grease. Simple reason why I use marine grease, it repels water. And it works awesomely great. And basically what I'm going to do, 
turn it a bit. You don't need to fill the case completely. And we'll grab our cap. We're gonna cap it. Grab our screw. Grab our two mil. They are, they are, wow. They're hard to start, there you go. If you do decide to use a drill on this, basically just make sure to use the physical clutch. Meaning on your drill here, put it maybe in one of the lowest setting and you'll see if it starts stripping. When I say by stripping, it's uh, basically turning on itself. And this is too too high. Only be at one. There we go. Because you don't want to uh, physically strip the plastic. And do the last one here. Always make sure everything turns freely. It does. This is basically part one done. We'll come back for another video to be able to do part two. You do have another one to do, your front and rear. It's just repeating the same steps. I'm not gonna bore you guys again for doing the same steps you did in front. Basically, we you rebuilt your locker, pop your bearings on each side. Pop your bearings in. Pop your ring gear. Pop your diff in, lube it up, cap it, and you're done. And let's jump to step two. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or question, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. If you did like this video, hit the thumbs up that's around this corner here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to know and be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks a lot.